Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in set theory that is inverse of a function. So in our previous session we have seen what are the different set operations, set properties and also we have introduced what is a function and what are the different types of functions and all these things and we will go with the one more concept called the inverse of a function. How to find an inverse of a function. So let us start the session. So this inverse of a function is usually represented as this one. If f of x is a function, then the inverse or its inverse is f inverse of x, right? And if a function we say it has a inverse of function if you consider two functions so let it be f a function f which is between a to b and g between b to a sorry b to a then we can say g is inverse of f if g of f is equal to identity of a or simply we can say g of f and f of g we need to find the g of f so we know that g of f and f of g are the composite functions so com combining two functions so we will we'll be calculating the output of one function first and we will substitute the output as an input for the second function that we have seen in our previous session. So whenever it gives the identi identi identity function of A and it gives the identity function of B then we can say it as a inverse function okay inverse function if the function is having some equation right so this is the case one so we'll see an example for both the cases so case two case two means if if any function was given with an equation algebraic equation so that means if f of x is equal to some uh, a x plus b y okay or else a x plus b then how to find f inverse of e x for this kind of problems, we need to follow the procedure. So I'll write here the procedure and then we'll go with an example. Step one. So in initialize, initialize the equation, whatever the equation we are having, to y. Initialize the equation to y. That means this particular thing should be initialized to y. Okay. Then step 2 replace x with y and y with x so we need to swap so wherever we are having some x so we have to replace it with y and wherever we are having y we have to replace with an x and step 3 now we need to solve the equation for y so solve the equation for y that means we need to solve the equation such that the left hand side should be y and then step 4 replace y with f inverse x so in such a way we will be solving these kind of problems so if any problem was given in an algebraic equation we need to follow these steps in order to find the f inverse of that particular function and if it is a set or pairs then you need to find the composite functions composite functions and we need to uh, get the identity matrix or oh, sorry identity function 
okay so whatever the input we are taking so the same output we have to get it so then only we will be saying as a identity function so which is represented with the i okay so hope you understood these two cases now we will see a few examples for both the cases right so let's start so let us see this example here we are having some a a set a set of elements and f and g are two functions where the function is between a and a so a to a and a to a so that they have also given the ordered pairs the complete pairs of these functions f function f is having 1 comma 4 2 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 4 comma 3 and g function 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 1 so now we need to find out whether g is the inverse of f or not so for that we have to find uh, one thing g of f and f of g so first let us find out this g of f of x so that implies g of f of x here means 1 let us take 1 so g of f of 1 what is the g of f of 1 so you can take it this one right so g of f of 1 is a 4 so g of 4 what is g of 4 here which gives 1 so here you can observe we are taking input as 1 we are getting output as 1 hope you understood we have to find out the, this g of f and f of g for all the values of a so now i am starting with 1 g of f of 1 so f of 1 f of 1 means here we have given some pair of elements so where we can get so if you are consider any pair like this so the first uh, value will be representing one x and another one is a y so you can observe g of f of 1 f of 1 means here we are getting 4 so g of 4 so what is the g of 4 we are getting output as 1 now similarly g of f of 2 what is the g of f of 2 f of 2 here you can observe f of 2 is again 1 so g of 1 what is the g of 1 here we are having g of 1 here so which is 2 so what is the input 2 and output is also 2 similarly g of f of 3 so again g of f of 3 2 so g of 2 again we are getting 3 so the outputs are same input and outputs are same so g of f of 4 the last element so g of what is the output of f of 4 f of 4 the output is 3 so g of 3 so what is the g of 3 so g of 3 is again 4 so you can observe all the inputs and outputs are equal so this implies this is an identity mat identity function of a so a we are getting 1 2 3 4 which is nothing but a itself now again we have to consider one more part that is f of g let us check f of g of a so where first f of g of 1 what is f of g of 1 which is 2 so f of 2 so what is the value of f of 2 f of 2 is 1 right so we are getting input and output the same so f of g of 2 is equal to g of 2 g of 2 f of 3 f of 3 f of 3 is again 2 so we are getting the same next f of g of 3 so where g of 3 is g of 3 is 4 so f of 4 so what is f of 4 f of 4 is again 3 so we got the same similarly f of g of 4 see f of g of 4 g of 4 g of 4 means 1 so f of 1 is equal to f of 1 is again it's a 4 so in both the cases that means whether either g of f or f of g we are getting the same value that is identity function or identical function of a so 1 2 3 4 again we are getting a so simply we can say g is inverse of f and f is inverse of g so we are, because we are getting the same identical function this is one category of example so we will go with the another category of example and we will see so let us take a one more example where function f and g two are two functions having the uh, mapping with the r to r and given f of x is one equation and g of x is another equation now we have to prove 
whether g is the inverse of f or not okay so if you are getting only one function and if you so see if we are giving only one function and if you want to find out f inverse of x so automatically we can go with the case 2 right so initializing with y and replacing with y and x both interchanging and solving for y and replacing y with f inverse x so that procedure will be following if you give only f of x but here we are giving uh, we have been given the two functions f of x and g of x and now we have to prove that g is a inverse of f so in this case the first case itself we have to apply that means f oh sorry g of f of x is equal to g of what is f of x here 2x plus 5 so in the place of this x we have to apply this one so 1 by 2 into 2x plus 5 minus 5 so which becomes 5 5 0 2x by 2 which is x so the input is x the output is also in x similarly go with a one more thing the composition reverse composition f of g of x is equal to f of what is the g of x here so 1 by 2 into x minus 5 now apply the same thing here so 2 into 1 by 2 x minus 5 plus 5 you can see so this can be cancelled so it becomes x minus 5 plus 5 which becomes x so again the input is x and the output is x so simply we can say g is inverse of f so here we have given the inverse also but we have to check whether it is an inverse or not okay so in this question they are not asking about find the inverse so they are asking about check whether g is a inverse of x or f is inverse of g so in such case we have to prove in this way so we need to take all the possibilities and we need to get the identical that means that whatever the input we are taking the same output should become uh, we have to get the same output then we can say it as an inverse and coming to the second case now we will be uh, solving the second case that means one function will be given we need to find the inverse of that particular function so let us see the second case so coming to the second case here we have given one function and now we are supposed to find this f inverse of x so let us start the second case so step one what is the step one initialize to y so i will take y is equal to x cube minus 2 step 2 replace x and y so x with y and y with x so x equal to y cube minus 2 step 3 solve for y that means the left hand side only y should be there so from this equation you can see y cube is equal to x plus 2 and y is equal to cube root cube root of x plus 2 cube root of x plus 2 now step 4 what replace y with f inverse x so f inverse of x is equal to cube root of this is a cube root x plus 2 so this is the inverse of given function x so the function f of x is given as x cube minus 2 and the x f inverse of x is the cube root of x plus 2 so we have to follow these steps and we have to find out the f inverse so one more example we will solve and we will stop right so let us go with the one more example so let us uh, see the function is 5x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1 and now we have to find out the f inverse so step 1 what we have to do we have to initialize y is equal to 5x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1 and from this we have to solve uh, replace x and y so x is equal to 5y minus 3 by 2y plus 1 
okay this is step one step two and next what we have to do so we have to solve for y so you can take 5y minus 3 is equal to x into 2y plus x so we have to find out only y right so Five y minus three is equal to. Uh, you can take it two uh, x y plus. Uh, just wait. Just wait. This is one, right? Plus x. Yeah. So now, what we have to do? Five y minus three is equal to. So. Uh, you can take it as yes so you can take uh, you can swap this one so minus 3 minus x is equal to 2xy minus 5y because we have to solve it for 1 right so this is a step 1 this is a step 2 I'm not writing the steps right step 3 right now you can see minus 3 minus x equal to you can go with a y then it will be 2x minus 5 I think it's correct yes now from this you can find out y y is equal to minus x minus 3 okay or simply you can go with a minus of x plus 3 divided by so you are bringing this one here 2x minus 5 so we got a y y value so from here the next one is a step 4 step 4 replace y with x f inverse x is equal to minus of x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 5 so this will be the inverse of given function f of x so this is how we have to find out F, f of f inverse of x for the given function hope you understood and if you are having any queries regarding this process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much